worry about that for the spot then. Let them take that. Going to troops here. This is good though, we have one faction taken care of, but now we have two more of them yet. The Union State and the Pacific States. Let's see where the casualty is now. Okay. We should go on this front. And reduce to this since we also forced them to capitulate. Get a few more air units down here. Now our main objective is to force the Union to capitulate. Once that's done, we'll be in a much better position. Ah. Zambia has capitulated. The entirety of Africa is pretty much at war with itself now, except for the few areas that are still under control of the others. Big in wars too, we still have the two wars over here. Just have to see what happens. Oh, and the Soviets are making progress too. Alright, now I'll read this. Directive 984, sentencing of pre-war capitalist politicians. Uh, as the revolution nears success, the people demand that we deal with the corrupt capitalist politicians in office before the revolution who now rot in our cells. Some believe that having these politicians work hard labor for a year, well, they will sympathize with the worker and be converted to our cause. Others believe that no amount of education can reform them, and they must remain behind bars for the rest of their lives. A small but vocal minority insists that they must be executed for their crimes, like the Romanovs or the Vorban dynasties of old. I already know what I'm doing. We're gonna basically have them work for us, that increase our stability a little more, and also increase the popularity of radical socialism. Definitely have an edge then too in this war. Thanks to getting the federal supplies, we have a better chance of being able to push them back. Air superiority. Assist.
This has definitely been a bloody war, though, that's for damn sure. <laughs> oh, looks like. Jeez. Lost a few men in those divisions. In order to restore in South Dakota, which is good. You know what? I'm actually gonna put these units here at the main army. Made them. I'm gonna try and defeat the other fashions here as soon as I can. Pacific states. We'll do the same here as well. Have him go to the Union. Or between the Ottomans and Bulgaria have ended here. One war in Africa has ended, it would seem. the Gulf of Mexico a position here, but then we can just start forcing people up to the west. Let's see, who's supporting the Union? We have Brazil and Germany supporting the Union, sending in volunteers and whatnot. Good call officers is done. Oh, and Austria and Japan are supporting the Pacific States. Our early optimism may have been misplaced. It seems as though the American Revolution will last much longer than anticipated, so we must broaden the depth and complexity of our military program. We should. Troops then will stay on the well behind the front line just in case any more the rebels pop up behind our lines. During wartime, revolution has brought a number of changes throughout the land that we control. In the various towns and cities, bourgeoisie culture seems to have vanished for the most part. 
women and foreigners are now applying for union membership in droves. This being necessary, as all factories are now effectively closed shops. The words a comrade, brother, and citizen have replaced boss and sir in public literature. Most people, at least in public, now shun the gaudy fashion that had been so typical in past decades in America in favor of functional jumpsuits or some variation on military uniforms. Interesting, but it increases our war support, so they complain too much about it. Like I said too, while I'm on the CSA side of the Civil War here, it doesn't mean that I believe with all their ideology. Honestly, the ideology that the CSA goes for, even with the Radical Socialists, which is the faction I'm supporting in this campaign, is still a little to the left of what I agree on. Ah, shit. And this is what I was afraid might happen. Canadian intervention looming. Good. I'm too frightened at the prospect of a syndicalist America sitting on their doorstep. The Canadians to the north, along with their British masters, are currently preparing for an intervention. We cannot prevent it from happening, but some believe it might be possible to delay if we were to quietly contact and fund Canadian labor movements, get them to rise up in strikes that, that have obviously syndicate connections. The Canadians might be too paranoid to take action until the strikes are shut down. It would, at most, buy us a few months if we keep it up. Otherwise, we should prepare to face the invasion from the north soon. So be it. But we'll do just that once it... Yep, and there it goes. Should be able to delay it a little bit at least. We'll definitely have to redeploy some of our forces to the north then later on. Once they're deployed, go there. That's definitely not a good thing. Down for a little while. Strikes. So we have about a month yet. being stored in Virginia. like the Pacific Union have formed a peace too. That's not good either. I'll reactivate Army War College. The Army War College in Pennsylvania was closed at the start of the war for its potential to serve as a hotbed of pro-federal sentiment and reaction. Now, however, we see that there may be some value in making use of its facilities to educate the offers of the new America. What's that? ships to right. slow production of deal with the devil 
With their forces hard pressed by the combined syndicates of America, representatives from both the Pacific States of America and the American Union State agreed to a temporary truce that lets the syndicate roll over them both and win the American Civil War. But their agreement comes too late, or if it can even last more than a few months before both sides turn on each other, remains to be seen. Both onlookers appear to agree this unprecedented agreement indicates that, for now, the Combined Syndicates of America has a definite upper hand. Puts us in a tight spot. Do you have them research that? Push the Pacific. It may have come too late though, honestly. So we are pushing south. Man, longest rebels rise in Kentucky. God damn it. I am having no luck right now. Occupy Tennessee so we can get a few more soldiers from that. Nebraska is now entirely ours as well. Control two. Keep All right, let's have our Tennessee comrades assist the skirmish here too. This is revolting too. Let's take a look over here. Just to see what happens. Looks like they're turning against the revolt of the ashes that have taken power in Italy here. So they're in the state of civil war. Production of a new battle rifle is on the line of John Garan, found in the Springfield Armory. Should be sped along in order to ensure that we have top class weaponry. We just need to spend some time working out the kinks. So essentially, we're building the M1 Garand rifle. It's actually my favorite gun to shoot. So I approve of that. 
Mm -hmm. Rebellion in Yemen, it seems. Another blow to the Sultan. about recruited here. We are going to Take Atlanta here shortly. Meet them on the border of Canada here. James Patrick Murphy in charge. Supplies are welcome. Ah, damn it. Didn't want to do that. Shit. Oh well. That means the Canadians are going to be attacking a little sooner than I thought. Need to get some guys defeated. around their neck. attack us. One. Of course, discipline, too. One of our increasing problems is that we are suffering from lack of organization and frequent insubordination in our forces. To this end, we have recreated the military police and intend to crack down on those who disobey orders.
hurts in Kansas. Let's take out this pocket once and for all. Tanks down south. To get them off. I need them on the front. I'll have to push them through. forces then to at least hold them back for a little while should Kanda actually go through with their invasion plan. Nationalist victory in South Africa. Interesting. Skip that, so I have no idea what that was. But just didn't just join so I expect. Ah, crap. Yep, Canada joins the war.